Today's pointless um, episode is a basketball hoop with the basketball. Ooh, that's my favorite sport. So for today's pointillism picture, I'll prefer uh, Crayola Super Tip Washable Markers. All right, let's get started. Before we color today's pointillism picture, let's use Crayola Super Tip Washable Markers. Before we color that part of the edge of the board, I'll use dark blue and let's color it in over there. That one is called the polycarbonate blackbird. That's the edge where you can keep the clear board safe. So this edge is uh, a little bit thin, so we need to color with smaller dots and gently go over through till it fits on that part of the shape. And let's be careful, we don't want to over color the net of the rim for the basketball hoop. The polycarbonate of blackboard is done. Next, let's uh, color the indoor indent of the polycarbonate blackboard for the basketball hoop. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave it white. Let's color the rim. We'll use orange. This should be very thin. Let's use teeny tiny dots so we can see the color from its line. There we go. And now for the long leg parts. First, I'll use blue, and let's use dark blue again for the shade of it, and then soon we will color the basketball hoop orange. You should remember this color of the basketball hoop, huh?
let's do that there. And then the dark blue will go for over and over, but not all of them. You see the shades between blue and dark blue? They kind of match to me, but these colors were a bit of brightness, but I want to make sure if my pointillism picture is a 3D or it might be harder if I can do that. Whether if I'm like older or something that if I'm trying, I can color or in 3D by using on my paper. So at the back of its 3D diagram, the basketball hoop, I might even use that this dark blue is also blue, but I need to find a darker color for the shade of blue. Here, let's use navy blue. It's similar to darker blue, you know.
I think that looks better to me. Oops, forget those ones. There we go. Then for the last one, let's color the basketball orange. Then for the other side, I will use a, a darker shade of orange, but not too dark. So maybe if I have, you know, like uh, from there in one of the Crayola Super Tip Markers. Maybe I will see. I think we might use bright orange. In Crayola Super Tip Marker of the color bright orange, it looks uh, seems to be dark to me, but uh, I don't think it's working. Sometimes uh, this kind of tip looks rigid, but it might smear the her colors when. It looks kind of weird, you know. I'm trying to. You can see sometimes the paper looks dirty because of the rigid ones from the tip of brighter orange maybe i was trying to but then i think my pointillism picture on my paper looks okay so for black i might even draw on the lines But I told you from before, it's also running out of ink. But maybe next time I can use another water washable uh, marker with using this black. Or maybe I can use any other types of markers. Maybe it's somewhat the super tips. That says washable markers. It means for you to use to wash in the combination with water. Thank you for watching this Pointillism episode. So make sure you subscribe. And had you ever played basketball before? Me? It's my favorite sport. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.